hey my baby dolls welcome back to another video as you guys can see with this wig cap on y'all already know what time it is this brand is sin nashore hopefully i'm pronouncing the company name right but this is right out of the packaging you guys i'm showing you guys everything right out first get into the texture get into the lace it looks so so good it's pre-plugged for you and everything this is their water wave texture and this is in 26 inches long the lace is 360 so it's laced all the way around this unit which makes this wig have so much so much versatility now look at how amazing this lace look in the back of the unit on the side I could not wait to show you guys what this looks like on now this string right here on both sides is their elastic band I'm going to show you guys how you use that on this unit you get your um, adjustable straps in the back and you do get an adjustable band okay that is very stretchy and comfortable to fit so yes I'm glad that this unit came with that because it definitely was helpful now I did put the wig on as you guys can see it is plucked so good um, and the knots are very small so which makes the hairline looks very very realistic I went ahead and cut that extra lace um, around the ear so when you do this if you have to do this um, just make sure that you don't cut that elastic band because that is something that's super important for this wig. Um, you're going to need that for what I'm going to show you guys. So the glue I am using is by Eben, Eben Wander Adhesive Glue. I got mine from my local beauty supply store and I put one layer on. That's all I needed. I did one layer and I made sure that I waited till the glue turned uh, clear. That's when you basically know that it's ready uh, for you to start applying the lace down. So that's what I did. And you guys can watch this whole process. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the next step. But as far as the quality of the lace, I love the quality of the lace. I will definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It melts down really good. Um, it's not that thick, uncomfortable lace. It's very thin, so which helps um, it look more realistic. Okay, so I love the fact that I don't have to do any plucking. It came plucked for me, and the knots are really small, which gives um, the look of the scalp being you know realistic looking so I went ahead and did some baby hairs I really wanted to do some baby hairs with this look and I used my cream of nature um, edge control and like I said you guys can watch this process and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do next <laughs> melted the lace down you guys can see how good the quality of this lace is I didn't have to do too much the lace came like this I just basically just did my baby hairs and molded everything um, down in place now I'm going to show you what this wig can do now I'm going to do a half up half down um, now you guys are going to see the elastic strings those you you are supposed to tuck in so if you see it on the side don't worry, you can tuck this in. 
and I'm going to show you guys how you, you are supposed to use the elastic strings once I put this up in a full ponytail. Now this is just a half up half down. I love it because you don't see any tracks. Everything is seamless and perfect. It looks so good you guys and I love the density of this unit. So like I said the elastic strings are you are supposed to tuck in and I'm going to show you guys that. Just look at the co complete quality of this unit. Now that we did a half up half down look. We're going to do this in a full ponytail since this is a 360 unit with this comb in the back what you're supposed to do is make sure you tuck that in so basically tuck it in going upward to make sure that that comb is locked in okay and then after that you guys you're going to make sure that you grab that elastic string and you're going to just pull a little bit and you guys are going to see how this is going to basically just draw everything in what that elastic strap does it basically secures and adjusts the back and just secures all around the the unit so that everything can fit um, and be secure so that's basically what that does the perfect part about this unit is that you don't have to use any glue it is completely glueless in the back they created the invisible string that i am pulling that i'm telling you guys about um they created this so that it can be easier which it is it is very quick i know with a lot of 360 units you usually have to glue the back of your your hair which can also be uncomfortable but this makes it much more easier and sometimes gluing your hair in the back can be just messy it can be uncomfortable it just can take a lot of work and with this it didn't take me no time so look how amazing that looks there's no lace showing there's no no track showing and it won't move okay it's in place so everything is basically secured so i love this invention because usually like i said all of the 360 wigs i've had i had to glue so i love the fact that i, I don't have to use any type of glue I love how quick and easy it is. This was just perfect, okay? And I made sure that you guys can see wherever that you um, make your part, you do have space. It's plucked in between, and it looks still looks natural in between the unit wherever you do decide to part the unit, okay? Um, I did put a little bit of mousse on, on the hair. I wanted you guys to see how um, amazing this texture is. We got into, you know, how you can style this wig and... Um, the importance of the whole wig but I wanted to show you guys how you know this texture looks when you put some um, product on it so I did put a little bit of mousse on it so you guys can see how amazing the texture looks is really really pretty so yes overall I love the quality of the hair I like what they created this was a very very great invention so I cannot wait to do more styles with it the hair is super soft there was no shedding all of the details will be listed down below for you to purchase make sure you guys click the link down below hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see baby dolls in my next video Mwah.